Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is Wednesday morning. We are here on the job scene. Today, we are helping out a client who needed our help. They needed our help. They needed our help so bad, they did some work to their, to their backyard, but they needed some dirt to be removed, and we don't even like doing dirt here at No Limit Hauling and Junk Removal. We don't like doing any more dirt jobs. But you know, we got the crew, they're handling that little pile. Then we're gonna handle this pile at the end because that's all like sawdust. Then we got this bigger pile, you know, no problem. We're gonna take care of this pile too. And then also for this job, you know, we're going to take care of all of this wood. All this wood, because they built this patio right here. They built them, they built it themselves this concrete patio, but they took all the dirt. They chopped this tree down. They also chopped the tree down in the front of their house. But you know, today we're on a scene helping them out. We're gonna get that money today. And you know, we're gonna get rid of this big pile. Uh, this pile right here. Oh, uh, this whole pile. We're gonna get rid of that whole pile. We're gonna put that one in the middle last. And my guy's already tackling that pile. You see that? My guy's already tackling that pile. But you gotta make sure you have these heavy duty wheelbarrows. See these heavy duty? This one we got at Lowe's heavy duty. But you see those other two heavy duty metal ones right there? For free from clients' houses. And when I see them on the streets, I pick them up. Because, you know, just like that, those things come in handy so much. And, you know, my guys are already knocking that down. We already got one up. And, you know, show them how it gets in there. Show them how, show them how you do that, man. See? You got to have those heavy duty wheelbarrows. Heavy duties. You got to have those heavy duties. So, you know, my guy, watch this. He's, he's going to get it in there and run it in there. He's going to do his thing. He's going to do his thing. So, yeah, you see? You see? You see? You see? And we're going to be dumping cows just like that. The trailer is going to get dirty today. But that's what it's about. That's what it's supposed to do. We'll get back at you. We're doing this today for this client. We're getting this money today. And trust, you best believe if we did a dirt job, we get them with that Kimball Slice price and hit them for that price because, you know, this ain't easy work. That shit ain't easy work. But, you know, if you have the crew, the tools, the trailer, and you don't got to pay for any of those things, you're winning. I'm trying to tell you. No limit hauling and junk. Mr. Yee Yee, we'll get back at you. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. As you see, that first pile is already done. My my crew gonna handle that first pile now we're on that second pile as you can see you know we got the crew knocking that pile out just like that you know they handling their business and you know it's happening just like that we already got almost both of those piles already done when you got the crew you got the equipment you know what i mean yesterday i know went and built this ramp right here for my thing with both of the uh ramps put together with the wood you know that's just so sturdy now we got all that dirt in there. Got all that dirt. That's probably about that's probably about four thousand pounds of dirt right there. Already two thousand pounds. I mean, two tons already easy of dirt right there. But you know, my guys are handling their business just like that. Within the first hour, we almost got two low two piles already done. Just like that, we'll get back at you. This is Mr. Yee Yee. You know, today we're doing this this client a favor. This client is a uh, is a. Uh, her husband is active duty and deployed and coming back, I think, today. And we want to give him a surprise and let him be free of all this mess that they did to create that corner with all this debris right here. We want to clean it up for them and give him a nice surprise when he comes home. All this is done. Just like that, what we're doing today for one of our active duty members. They got the military discount. They got the hookup from us and my guys. Just like that, we're getting busy. Yes, yes. So now we're on the way to go give this, go give an estimate for a property clean out. One of our local uh, realtors, property management companies reached out to me after finding me on Google and all my reviews and five stars and all that. And you know, they're having a few uh, haulers come in to give a property estimate walkthrough for this property that needs to be cleaned out so they can start putting work on it and you know, I was blessed enough for them to give us the call. And you know, there's gonna be some other haulers there, but it's all good. I'm in there to get that money, give a price, 
and you know handle my business i had to stop what i'm doing leave the crew over there as you see the uh the dirt uh, the soil removal and uh my i trust my guys they know what they're doing they don't need to be babysitted i trust them they know what they're doing and uh i'm gonna go grab my other trailer after this because we also have some tree stuff that we have to remove so I might as well uh, get rid of that, go pick up another trailer so we can put all that tree stuff and some miscellaneous things they have in it. So beneficial having two trailers. And you know, um, we're gonna go give this house estimate right now. And then we're gonna go pick up an uh, No Limit trailer number two. And then uh, we're gonna get back to the scene and you know, help out the guys and you know, get that money. So it's so beneficial when you can leave the crew and then go do a house estimate for one of your local property management companies who reached out to you. So boom, bam, you have to be multiverse. You have to be like an octopus and have so many hands and you know, wear so many hats to get that money. So, you know, I had to leave them real quick. Now I'm gonna go give this estimate to try to get this job and boom, bam, it's happening. It's a beautiful day. We're getting paid today. We're happy, we're blessed. And it's just like that. We'll get back at you when we leave this client's house. Uh, for this uh, house property clean out Yes, yes So you know, you gotta be smart You gotta hit them with that price And you know, there's probably gonna be other realtors there I mean other uh, haulers there Who have given price And are gonna be, be being nosy And gonna be asking if any other haulers Have given prices already So <clears throat> it's kind of like an auction Whoever has the, the best price Whoever has the best price Is gonna get the job so you better price it right and you better know how much work it's going to be. You better know how many, uh, how much hours it's going to take you, how many loads it's going to take you. So all that's going to help you. There's my other phone. All that's going to help you, you know, when it comes to um, bidding and, you know, landing jobs. So uh, just a little advice from Mr. Yee Yee. We'll get back at you and uh, we'll get back at you. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. So we just left this house with this estimate and oh boy i mean oh boy this was a house that were that was squatted in that is a complete nightmare rat infested diseases just like destroyed i mean destroyed you are going to have to wear bio suits and do everything you can because this house is a mess as soon as you walk in it, you already smell all of the rat and poo, poo and everything. You know, she's not paying attention. But anyways, you know, we went in here and gave this. I can't even give a bid because I just gave them an estimate. But, you know, they want everything through email, an uh, email bid and, you know, submission of an email and bid. And, you know, they want to, um, you know, get a bunch of bids and see what's best for them. Cause they don't care about you honestly they don't care about us i'm gonna tell you that right now you know all they're gonna do is go for the best price and you know but i tell you that job right there some jobs are good to take some jobs are not good to take and you know that this job that i just went into there was rat feces everywhere there's rats all in the house the house is completely a mess it stinks and it's just bad it's just bad so you know I'm going to hit them with that price and, you know, they're not going to like it and I'm probably not going to get the job. And, you know, that's no problem because I already know that job, you know, is, is multiple loads, multiple loads. But guess what? Let me tell you, they don't care. They only care about the person who is going to give them the cheapest job and they're going to save money and they're going to use all of your hard work and labor and, you know, they can care less. And, you know, if something goes wrong, you break something in the house or something goes wrong, gas pipe, whatever goes wrong in the house, guess what? They're going to blame you. So, you know, all jobs are not your job. You know, my my best suggestion for this estimate that I just went to would be uh, hit them with that price. And, you know, it might be someone else's job. It might be someone else's gig. But I guarantee you that's a lot of work right there because you got to have bio suits. You got to have bags. You gotta have a team and you know, you gotta have multiple, multiple trailers. If you only have one trailer and you're doing a house like that, you're killing yourself. I guarantee it. As soon as you start moving things, you're gonna start seeing rats running everywhere because they're living in there so much. And you know, these people don't care. That's why they call us in. But 
on a good note, I'm going to hit him with this price. And if I get the job, then I get the job. If I don't, then I don't. You know, no problem. But hit him with that price. If you don't want to do the job, hit him with that price. And if they accept it, you're getting paid. And boy, oh boy, oh boy. That was a, for a three bedroom, one bathroom, the whole house was squatted in, lived in, and just a mess. And, they, and, and not only that, but the rodents. It's, it's, it's bio in there. So, you know, it's definitely going to be a challenge. And I might even just think about giving this, this person an estimate. I might not even send it in. Because I really don't want to do the job. Honestly. You know what I mean? Some other guys can go do that job. No problem. And they can take all the pictures they want. They can do all, everything they want. I got this job. This, blah, 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 blah. Handle your business. But I know. Because I've been there. I know you're going to work your butt off. And I'm going to tell you like that. It's like it's, it's like these TV shows I watch. You know that they fix these houses up and stuff. And they go into these houses. And they fix them up. They buy them real cheap. But they're like totally, totally ran down. And you know, rat infested, everything. But you know, the investors, you know, they have their crews in there that go in there and take everything out. But guess what? Their crews hit them with that price. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. If I get the job, I get the job. If I don't, then I don't. But, you know, but anyways, now we're going to get back to our other situation. I'm going to go pick up trailer, no limit trailer number two. And then we're going to go, we're going to go back to the job. And um, hopefully my my crew is handling their business like they're supposed to. And, you know, it's going to be all good. But um, we're definitely going to have to... Uh, get back to work over there because i want to be done with this job before one o'clock and that's it you know what i mean and time is ticking we'll get back at you yes 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 so we're on the way now to the dump i dropped off the other trailer so the crew could load up all the wood and all the debris as you seen earlier there was a cut down tree that we're also removing and taking away and then a broken down swing set and some planter boxes that need to be broken down we're taking all of that and then um they're loading the other trailer up with that the crew and and then i got no limit trailer og full of soil and dirt and we're dropping this off to the dump now so you know it's mount dump i mean mount soil today is operation mount soil so woof, good thing I had the crew and you know handling our business today and you know what I'm talking about it's just a good day helping out you know what I mean a, a, a veteran and his wife giving them that discount and just you know being there for them when they needed us and you know like I said this veteran he's been deployed and he's coming back today today's his he lands today he'll be home today and we want to cut him to come home and see all that to be removed and he doesn't have to worry about that because he's been overseas for six months already so you know just like that we want to help them out and you know normally we don't do this type of soil but you know once they told me the situation with her husband i had to so you know but anyways we're almost here at the landfill we're gonna dump all this soil then uh, go back and you know we should be done with the next trailer load that's it you know it took our it took most of the day but you know it's only 11 40 a.m good thing we started at 8 a.m but you know my guys they're handling it and you know i'm gonna take care of them real good and you know it is what it is but you know another job another day but today's job operation mount soil <gasps> we'll get back at you when we're over here when we leave the dump and let you know the damage yes yes i gotta put this truck on on four-wheel drive time yes yes we'll get back at you as you can see how fun this is Look at this line. Look at this line to get in here. Wow. But it's got to be done. You know, I got to unload this trailer. I got to have this dirt out of here. But wow, look at this. Look at this line. Look at this line. Wow. How effing fun. But you know, that's just the price we pay as being haulers. That's why I got two trailers. But you know, I had to get rid of this load. I had to dump this before I got any other heavier. I don't want to go over my weight limit. I just want to dump it and be done with it. But you know, I'll probably be here for about another 20 minutes just in line right here. But wow, 
Yes, yes. We'll get back at you, but look at the struggles. This is why I have two trailers, so I don't have to come here, you know. But we took a big job today helping out one of our fellow uh, 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 enlisted, you know, members. And um, we had to help him out, but, you know, it's all good. We feel good about it, but this line is going, but man, Jesus, I could just imagine the line coming out. Yeah, what a, what a, yeah. Oof. All right, look at that, all the way over there. And I hate when those big rigs, you see that big rig over there? You see that big rig right there? I hate when those big rigs are here. Jesus. All right, we'll get back at you. Yee yee! Okay, okay, so I just left this place. You know, I don't like coming here, but I had to. I had no choice. But you know, I, you know what? I did have a choice. I could have parked the trailer and left it over there. But you know, I'd rather have an empty trailer than a full trailer. So, you know, I just left. You know, we had 2.59 in, in the truck. No problem. Hang on, I still got it in high-low. I got to uh, take it out of high-low and put it into two. There we go. Hang on, hang on. Okay. Okay, there we go. Now we're good. Now we're in a t now we're in two wheel. Two wheel high. So uh yes, so we had um you know I had a heavy load, so I had to put it in the automatic four wheel high. You know what I mean? Save your transmission, guys. I'm trying to tell you, but the diesel can take care of it with all that torque. And then the trailer, you know, I think no problem with the hydraulic lift, no problem. Lifted two and a half tons, easy peasy, no problem. Absolutely no problem, you know. She's a blinkers. So, anyways, you know, jerk right there didn't want to use his blinkers. So, anyways, but we just left the dump, two and a half tons of clean dirt, and guess what? No charge. So. You gotta know where you gotta know where everything goes and where you can drop things off and not get charged. So you know, boom, bam, just like that, no charge. So you know, I got about another. I'll say about another. I, I, I'll say we probably got about another ton of dirt. You know, we got about another ton of dirt, and then hopefully my crew over there already loaded up the wood and all of the uh, debris that we had over there. And I could just go grab that trailer and be boom, bam, and come bring it over here and drop it off. I'm just going to drop off the tree stuff because I don't want to uh, do it all together as one load. Uh -uh. So I'm going to do it as, uh, you know, the tree stuff and, you know, get charged green waste instead of getting charged full throttle waste. But uh, just like that, yes, yes, easy peasy. And um, we're going back to the uh, client's house to go drop this trailer off so they can load the rest of the dirt into this OG trailer number one that puts in so much work for me. Man, I love this trailer. I actually like this trailer better than No, no Limit number two. For some reason, this lift works a lot faster than my other lift. And they're both hydraulic uh, telescope lifts in the front, but this one pff, lifted that dirt no problem. So, you know, we'll get back at you when we get back on the scene. I'm hoping when I get back on the scene, I'm gonna see a full trailer full of wood. Uh, 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 Cause they had a, they cut down their whole tree. And you know, I'm, I'm hoping I'm gonna see a whole trailer full of wood that's already loaded. And now when I back this thing up, you know, they only gotta do dirt and we're, we are done. You know, yes, yes, we'll get back at you. Yes, yes, Mr. Yee Yee. Make sure you like and subscribe support the movement leave a comment what you guys think about today's job what you guys think about mount soil removal and you know let me know what you thought about that about you know taking on this job and if you would have did this job you know so you let me know but uh yes yes we'll get back at you yes yes so now i'm back my young life's got this whole trailer ready now we're gonna go dump all this wood at the dump and come back and leave all the debris there but we're going to dump all the wood we'll be back just like that my young wife took care of that and you know second trailer load we'll be back yes 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 as you see no limit trailer number one no limit trailer number two we got two 
two bad boys on the scene today. And you know, we got the crew out here. We had to do two situations. We got that one loaded up with dirt still. That's about an easy ton, ton and a half. You know, my boys are hot. You know what I mean? They're putting in work. Summertime, that spring is here, baby. It's here, baby. You know what I mean? Early morning runs. Look at all this. Look at all this. All that. Remember that pile that was right there? Remember all those piles that were right there? Remember all those piles? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Remember all those piles? All those piles that were right there? All those piles? Hang on. All those. Look, remember that? Look at that big pile that we just handled. And remember all that wood that was over there? Ooh wee. So you know. We handling business. Look at that. Look how flat and level that is now. Look at that. You know, we did it. It's hot. It's about 81 degrees out here today. But you know, we gotta get it. Just like that. Remember all that wood that was right there? Look at that. Not anymore. Just like that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that beautiful. Look at that beautiful situation. Look at that. You see all that? Look at that. We'll get back at you. You know what I mean? Soil mount soil removal today. Whew. But we did it. Yes, yes, it's done. We'll get back at you. Yes, yes. So we're done for the day. It was a nice, nice, big, big day. You know, we don't, like I said, we don't usually do dirt removal, soil removal, anything like that. We definitely don't do concrete removal. So, you know, but uh, today was a blessing helping out, you know, this couple who who uh husband is away deployed flying in tonight and the wife is gonna surprise him with the you know backyard clean out today you know that we did for them you know what a nice surprise you know the wife reached out to me uh last week on yelp doo -doo 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 -doo. and you know i was the first one to reply back that fast boom boom and you know got the job you know uh she said that uh i reminded her of her brother and you know so you know boom bam you know just by talking to people and giving them your ear and listening and you know just being professional and being patient and just you know uh uh, uh, uh being calm and collective and you know just um you know going there and giving them that talk and and you know knowing like you know what you're doing so you know we got the job and you know we did the job, you know, as you seen, we had the full crew today. We had both of my young lives. I could have had more people, but we had two of my young lives. We had all the uh, the nice heavy duty uh, wheelbarrows. We had the ramps and, you know, we had both trailers on the scene and, you know, it went just like that, you know, and the good thing is, you know, I didn't really, you know, my young guys hit it. My young guys did a lot of work today. I was just going back and forth to the dump. I only went one time. I only went one time to the dump. And you know, you see there's no receipt on here because it didn't cost me a damn thing. Cause that, you know, that dirt was clean dirt. You get to get rid of it for free. Boom. So I didn't waste any money today on dump fees, even though I went to the dump one time and dumped, what was that? 2.59 of a ton. So two and a half tons, you know what I mean? We could have put more on there and possibly got rid of all the dirt. But I wanted to come back and have a fresh trailer, have a fresh and whoop, whoop, whoop. And, you know, it was a good day. Don't get me wrong. Here's that. You see how fat this envelope is? I'm going to let you guys see. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know, that's, a, that's what type of job it was. You know, so I didn't want to do the job. Trust me. So when I went and, and, and gave a free estimate for this job, because I don't give it in person. I went and gave a free estimate for this job, and I hit them with that price. And, you know, I also threw in there an uh, 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 active duty, a uh, 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 discount, you know. But I threw in that price because I knew how, you know, dirt removal, soil removal. If there was concrete in it, I wouldn't have did it. You know what I mean? But we did it and I hit them with that price. And guess what? This client wanted it done and wanted it, you know, as a surprise from when her husband comes home. She wanted him to come home to absolutely, absolutely no work in the backyard. Because she already knew he was going to come home and start messing with that backyard. And guess what? She called us in. And the job got done just like that. 
Google review already received. Boom, another Google review. So, you know, just like that. I'm trying to tell you guys, you know, if you're going to do a job, make sure you hit them. If, you, if you're going to do a job and you don't even like the job, and you know, you never know, because you just never know. Hit them with that price, and if they call you back, you're getting paid. So my crew's getting paid. We're all getting paid. It was a blessing today helping them out. And, you know, clients for life. And, um, you know, that's just what it is. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, I got, while I was on the job today, the cross the street neighbor, you know, also hit me up and said, hey, I need you to come take some of my, my side of the house junk and everything. I was kind of busy in the motion doing this, doing this quarterback and everything. So I went across the street and seen what they had, what this guy had, this neighbor had. And, you know, he had a bunch of bullshit, a bunch of junk. You know what I mean? And, you know, I hit him with a price where I was like, you know what? I'll do all that since I'm here. Since I'm already here, I don't got to travel. I don't got to come see you do all this. I'm already here. I'll do it for that one price, you know? And he had a bunch of stuff, bunch of knickknack, few mattresses, all kinds of knickknack shit. So I gave him a nice price for for just me being there. I said, you know what? Since I'm already here, you know what I mean. We'll do it like that, no problem. But you know, he said, he said, he said, cool, 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 no problem. So you know, I said, after I'm done with this, we'll just throw it in the trailer. Don't worry about it. So you know, about five minutes later, he walked up to us on the other client's house and said, hey, you know what? I got my boy, I got my other boy, I got my boy, I just called my boy. He's gonna come and give me a, a estimate on it do and probably do the job and, and you know, take care of it. I said, okay, cool, no problem, bro. You know, I was just throwing you that price because I'm already here, don't worry about it. So he's like, okay, thank you, thank you. So, you know, so I was going to the dump and I came back and guess what? It's one of my fellow haulers in my area who I know, you know what I mean? So I said, you know, the price I gave this guy was just a price because I was there. And, you know, it was a low price. So, you know, if my boy got if my boy got that job, I already know he went lower than what I was talking about. Or he ain't going to do the job either because, you know, it was a problem, dude. This, this client cross street was a kind of a problem. You know what I mean? So I just hit him with a price and was like, I'm already here, bro. You know what I mean? You, we could do it for that. And, you know. I just gave him a special price. But then when I came back, I seen one of my local haulers in my area at his house. And I said, man, if this guy gets that job, I already know he ain't, you know what I mean? He, you, you, you know, all, all jobs matter. All jobs count, little jobs, whatever. I just, you know, I just told a homeowner, you know, the homeowner see me too as I was as I was finishing up my job. He was like, "What's up, man? What's up? What's up? You know, I'll call you if I need some stuff." I said, "No problem, brother. We're here for you. It's all good." But you know, that hauler that came and gave you another price, I know him too. We all know each other, so you know, it's all love, brother. It's all love. I just gave you a price that was for me right now, and you know, that price ain't gonna be tomorrow's price. Tomorrow's prices is not today's prices. So if that guy calls me back tomorrow and says, hey, can you still do it? I'm going to tell him, yeah, but for a different price. Because that's just it. You got that price because I was there. But if I got to come back now, I'm going to have to tack on a little bit. But, you know, that's just it. Not every job is yours, but, you know, all jobs matter. You know what I mean? And it is what it is, you know. But we had a good day today, you know. It was a good day today. We got a big envelope. When you get those big envelopes, you already know it's a big day. You know what I mean? And, you know, cash rules. But anyways, you know, we're going to sign off today. We're going to sign off for right now. It was beautiful today. We hope everybody out there had a good day. Today's Wednesday. Get that money. You still got a few. You still got a lot more. Four more days of this month. I mean, of this week to get money. So, you know, the sunny time was a hot day today. Woo! We had to drink a lot of water. But, you know, we made it happen. And now he went to the dump one time today. And it was for free. So, you know, boom, bam, it's a win. But, you know, this is Mr. Yee Yee, a.k.a. Rudy, a.k.a. Mr. Yee Yee. Make sure you like and subscribe. Support the movement. Drop a comment. You know, we talk back. Everybody out there, have a good day. We're going to get back at you. You already know. Mr. Yee Yee.